Chase Lee Hockey here with Blue Food Tongue. One of the steel books that came out, not really came out in August, but the ones that actually showed up at my door box. So I think the first one I'll do is Twister, because that one was released a long time ago, but it's been delayed forever. With these WB ones like this, Departed, you got to get them quick, or they just kind of disappear pretty damn quick. Anyway, pretty good paper. Uh, pretty awesome. You got the green and the black and the white. Twister, you have Helen Hutt, Bill Paxton right there. At the very end, you have the cow and the Dodge pickup truck. Pretty sweet with all the shenanigans happening there. And that's what it looks like overall. Of course, with WB, it's just a black discount with the 4K. And what they're doing now, you don't get the Blu-rays anymore. It's 4K and bust. But you do get a digital code, which I'm not going to show you. Anyway, this is a still of the movie with both of them riding in the truck. So yes, like I said, I watched this in 4DX instead of the this version but man 4dx was freaking amazing to watch it in theaters all right i think the next one i will go with is the one that's been out for a while kickboxer it's a uh walmart exclusive steelbook uh a lot of their steelbooks are going on clearance in the store which i find interesting because i mean they're i don't want to say they're clearing out a lot of the stuff but it seems like they're clearing out a lot of the stuff with all the physical releases and that kind of bums me out anyway not a bad paper at all, and this is a Lionsgate film. So, of course, very glossy and very shiny with Jean-Claude Van Damme. Uh, pretty sweet. You got the nice mountains in the background, nice colors going on here and there. And, of course, on the back, of course, I haven't seen Kickboxer, so I don't know. I'm guessing that's the trainer right there. But I could be wrong! Slap me in the face for not knowing this. Anyway, with Lionsgate, they know what they're doing. Look at that. It freaking matches. Love it when the spine matches. So this is interesting, this is only the Blu-ray. I would have liked it be the 4K, but I don't think there is a 4K Kickboxer movie out there. And on the interior, it's basically just the poster of Kickboxer right there. Uh, so it does make you wonder if they're going to come out with a 4K Kickboxer, because they already did it with Hard Target, and they're doing it with Sudden Death as well. So I wonder how many more John claude Van Damme movies they're going to actually put in that realm. Alright, so let's do these other Walmart exclusives. There's a lot of Lionsgate ones, Hannibal Rising, Leatherface, uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Wolf Creek, uh, Your Next that are making it, which is kind of a bummer because I really wish it would be 4K updates, not just Blu-rays. So I thought, you know what? I'll get some of these Blu-rays because I don't remember the last time Hannibal Rising was on Blu-ray. I don't remember the last time Wolf Creek was on Blu-ray. But look, pretty good paper overall and pretty damn simple. You got simple colors on this one. You have black, white, red blood is going down his face pretty damn simple and at the very end or the back you have a quote that says i've come to collect a head so i've heard this is not the greatest movie person i don't think i've seen it honestly but this is looks like the unrated one and you do get the unrated just right there you do get a digital code and it does look like this is when hannibal lecter was younger just from the quick looks of it so there is that. So not a bad steelbook overall. It looks like all these ones, they're not bad. So, and I think they're only like 20 bucks. So if there are a couple movies that you want with the steelbook, I'll go for it. So this one now is Wolf Creek. And it does look like it does have the same like cut, but we went with a different color with this one. This one is now more orange. So let's look at this sucker. So Wolf Creek, you got the orangeness, or you can call it yellow, the orange yellow. Pretty damn simple, almost the same blood spatter. Of course, with the guy that's doing all the murders in Australia, glossy through and throughout. And it says at the end, oh, I get around, you know, never know where I might pop up. I think I own the second one, but I haven't owned this one because, like I said, it hasn't come out on Blu-ray. I'm shocked they haven't done, like, high tension. That would be an interesting one because that is also another uh, Lionsgate movie as well. But there is Wolf Creek right there. And you get a digital code as well. And this one, of course, is him. I want to say this came out in like 2006, 2007. I want to say I watched this in movie theaters in Greenville, Texas. Could be wrong. When did this come out? Was that 2006, 2007? My, oh, 2005. I was close. I was close. Anyway, next is The Last Unicorn. This is a Shout Factory release. And this is a Walmart exclusive steelbook. And it is a 4K movie. Uh, I've never heard of this movie. Uh, but Shout Factory has some baller ass uh 
releases through and throughout. So if they're releasing it, it's got to be a good movie. They have very thick paper. I like that. Yeah, that's pretty dope animation at the very back. Anyway, actually, this is dope overall. This is a mix of glossy and matte. I mean, you got the nice purples. You have the nice yellows. You have the nice whites. This is pretty sweet looking steelbook. You'll get it. And of course, at the back, it's even better looking. I mean, look at that color. That is so cool, actually. Unicorns, and it looks like, I guess that's the last unicorn. These are the unicorns that are going to die from this devil creature. And look at that. The spine freaking matches. Let's go. This is a solid, solid steel book. So, of course, this is a G-rated movie, which I'll bet you $1,000. If this was rated in today's day and age, this would not be G. This would be PG in my opinion, but I have never seen it before. And those are the two discs. And then the interior looks like one is the bad demon or the bull. And then the unicorn on the other side. All right, so pretty damn impressive steelbook, actually. Uh, we'll see how good this movie actually is. So it looks like the author has a new movie or new book called I'm Afraid You've Got Dragons. So apparently he just loves the fantasy realm. No problem with that. All right, the last one I bought, Furiosa. So I gave this movie a 50%, and everyone's like, are you sure about that? And I'm like, yes, I wasn't the biggest fan of it. But also, it's one of those movies where like, maybe the second watch is better. And something about the 4DX experience, something about maybe my theater-going experience, I just wasn't having a good time. But I found two copies randomly at Walmart. Just randomly at Walmart. So I said, yeah, I probably need to pick these up because they're going to sell it pretty damn quick. Anyway, thick. And also, one of my... Uh, winners from Canada he wanted one as well so I found three copies anyway so pretty simple in the very front it's like the steering wheel Furiosa of Mad Max Saga pretty simple you got the nice chrome lookingness of it and at the back same thing the chrome lookingness of it so it is a nice looking steelbook overall I think I am disappointed that this version does not come with the black and white version so that is a little bit of a bummer anyway so this is a weird one because the spine Oh, don't fall. The spine is only connected to the front, not connected to the back. So, it is what it is, but I mean, I kind of like it when it connects through and throughout. All right. So, when looking at the 4K disc, that is it right there. And then looking at the Blu-ray disc, it is it right there. And I saw Corridor Digital, and they did something with this versus the 2015 version. Okay, yeah, there's a still with Chris Hemsworth. Um, you know, riding his quote-unquote chariot. And they love this movie, and I think they said it perfectly. The reason why I think people didn't like this more is because this felt more glossy. It felt more clean. But Fury Road felt like you're in the nitty-gritty of everything. But this has felt like more, I want to say, happy-go-lucky background. But it wasn't just, you didn't feel like you were just, like, in the dirt with everyone. But anyway, there's the Steelbooks. For August, Chase Lock here at the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. What no things, Blue Topia. You, Blue Tony, thank you much for a great day. I can watch this tape tomorrow. Week from month, and year from our single one of you. Peace and love. Peace and love. And what movies did you buy this month?